Attorney Tony Busby says he's planning to file a lawsuit on behalf of Axel Acosta, one of the eight young people who died. He's also representing more than 130 other concert goers who were hurt. Matt Doherty was at Busby's news conference this afternoon. What else can you tell us, Matt? Well, like you said, Lynn, he is representing the uh, family of one of the victims who died, more than two dozen other plaintiffs. Axel Acosta died at the festival. He was 21 years old. Today, Attorney Busby says Acosta was swallowed up by the crowd and was ultimately trampled. Busby claims the event was dangerous, poorly planned, overcrowded, and understaffed by security and emergency responders. Busby is also assigning blame to Travis Scott himself. In this lawsuit, we intend to change the way concerts are put on, organized, promoted, and managed in the United States and in the world. It's our goal to make sure that this good, decent, solid young man did not die for nothing. Busby says a temporary restraining order was filed this afternoon. He wants Travis Scott and those involved in the event to be on notice to preserve anything that could be used as evidence in the future, like phone call records and text messages. We reached out to Live Nation tonight to see if they had a comment for us, but we're still waiting to hear back. Tony Busby also sent out this petition tonight. He's asking anyone in the community who has any photos or videos from the concert to contact his office. Back to you. There is a lot to sort through. Matt Doherty with the very latest.